this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and during this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM. The version over here is 5.9.1 and this is the Infinity official build here it shows and of course it is based on Android 11 and the security patch is latest of August 5th 2021 and if you are noticing the build date here is 18th August 2021 so this is the latest build as of right now. The stock kernel here is the Soviet star kernel. The maintainer is still Johuab and this build has something special because this particular build is based on the latest Android 11 firmware and if you don't know what I'm talking about about the Android 11 firmware and stuff you can check out the cards or the description for the flashing guide of this particular ROM it is same of the latest AeroOS official ROM flashing guide video in the system panel this is how it looks like we do have a system updater and you can check for updates from here too and we have the Android version and the Evolution X version and stuff over here too so yes you can check for updates or use this updater as your like stock OTA updater let me go back we have the gestures and here we have all these things like the double tap to sleep and the quickly open camera and stuff let me go back we have the system navigation gestures and from here in the settings we still have the amount of screen height to be used for the back gesture then you can hide the pill bar completely if you don't want it and also we have the gesture bar length increasing option also you can change the radius of it so right now as you can see i have changed it my pill bar is quite long and thick right now and we also have the advanced gestures over here so extended swipe action and you can actually customize these swipe actions over here let me go back from here we have the haptic feedback the back gesture animation and stuff you can enable or disable too also we have the old school two button or three button navigations as well let me go back to the prevent ringing option and you can enable it if you want to. Then we have the swipe click screenshot and this swipe click screenshot still works but there is one issue like as you can see there is the long screenshot or scrolling option then delete option and stuff but to get into the edit option you have to scroll once but it just goes away as you can see right now it just went away. So this issue is still there but yes you do have the options for scrolling or editing the screenshot and stuff like that or you can share it directly but yes all those markup things are there but to actually get into the edit you have to be quick so you have to keep that in mind let me actually delete the screenshot let me go back we also have the power menu customization here we have the sensitive content and stuff then skip music track and adaptive playback let me go back we have the front camera settings and here we still have the front camera calibration so you can actually calibrate the motor over here for the front camera with this particular settings also we have these mini front camera sound effects and we have the front camera raise dialog then we have the camera LED disabling option let me go back we have the Gboard as the default keyboard over here but if you are wondering which vendor this ROM is based on well it is a OSS vendor which needs actually the latest Android 11 firmware to run and this is how the home screen looks like of the Evolution X ROM still we have the pixel launcher of course and we do not have any double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen or stuff like that if you are wondering about the settings this is how it looks like you can disable the suggestions if you want to but this rom is quite different from the other roms because if you ask me personally on other android 11 firmware based roms there is huge issue with the anx camera here that problem is simply not there let me show you i have flashed the anx camera version 190r and here I have flashed the ANX camera version 190R of course with MIUI code version 1.4 and I have installed this MIUI gallery too then we have the systemless host and stuff of course enabled but with that the ANX camera is working perfectly fine over here that is a huge thing at least according to me because let me show you you can switch between lenses like the 0.66x lens is actually working flawlessly then also the 2x tele photo works flawlessly and if you go into the video settings we also have the 4k 60fps option if you're noticing if you're wondering about those yes 4k 60 fps is working perfectly fine here also in the pro mode i have enabled the manual control of the videos and yes you can actually control with these manual video and stuff with 4k 60 fps so that is amazing and if you don't know how to enable all of these you can check out the card or the description again with the anx camera pro video i'll have everything in the description do not worry also the front camera is working perfectly fine if you are noticing so no issues whatsoever i'm shooting this video on the redmi note 10 pro by the way so yeah and everything is working perfectly fine here with the anx camera and that is a huge thing in my opinion yes also the portrait mode is working if you are wondering if the portrait mode is broken or something no portrait mode is not broken and you can also switch to the front camera with the portrait mode and that too is working perfectly fine without any issues so anx camera is not a problem over here and that is a huge thing because this rom is based on the android 11 firmware talking about the cameras i have also installed the gcam 8.1 px mod version i listed below if you want it in the description of course the picture quality with gcam is amazing as you can see 
so no issues whatsoever with the camera quality over here even gcam is working perfectly fine and night sight mode and stuff everything is working fine with google cameras also even a google camera 8.3 version is working fine this is the latest google camera as you can see it is also working fine even the front camera as well is working flawlessly so no issues with google cameras or even anx camera over here but the default camera kind of sucks this is uh, this kind of camera and even I would say the video mode and stuff with this stock camera does not work at all so this is a very basic kind of camera but this camera is buggy but when you install ANX camera or a G cam the experience will be much much better and of course with the Android 11 firmware you are getting the L1 back if you have lost it permanently so let me show you yes I have lost it permanently like I had L3 earlier but right now with the Android 11 firmware I have the L1 back so I can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p that is the most amazing thing about the latest Android 11 firmware based ROMs and talking about these things also the safety net passes right out of the box but I have flashed Magisk over here even with Magisk hide the safety net is working fine so banking apps is not a problem over here. Now in this particular video I'm not gonna show you the customizations of this ROM for that I'll do a separate video because this ROM still has a lot of customizations but let me focus on the ROM itself. So on the stock launcher again the widgets and stuff everything is working fine swiping up gets you to the app drawer and of course swiping down gets you to the quick settings panel yes you can thoroughly customize the quick setting panel too and I have customized the brightness control slider over here too so yeah you have all these customizations which I'll show in a different video but today in this video let me show you the basic things like the quick setting panel toggles let me go into the edit and you can edit and add multiple toggles over here if your device has NFC hardware you can actually add it if you want to but my device is a Indian Redmi K20 Pro so it doesn't have an NFC hardware so that's why it won't be working but you can add other toggles from here like the live display and stuff is there let me show you what I have added I have the battery saver then the dark theme yes dark theme works flawlessly no issues with that and we have the Android 11 screen recorder too with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time also we have the show touches and the show stop dot and stuff so all these options you get and also we have the hotspot the do not disturb data saver etc then we can disable the heads up nightlight option is there and yes nightlight is kind of broken because this is a oasis window based ROM so nightlight is kind of buggy over here sometimes it just shows it's turned on so yeah that is not a huge problem but yeah nightlight option is there if you want to use it and also we have the nearby share the always on display and the sound toggle is there if you tap and hold on it you get the volume panel and this is how the volume panel looks like as you can see because I have customized it too and FPS info is also there so if you enable that as you can see on the top left you can see the FPS right there and of course you can also enable it while gaming or stuff like that so yeah FPS info is working fine anti flicker or the streaming mode is there you can enable it if you want to and the reboot toggle is also there so you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from here if you tap and hold on it also just the volume panel is there and we have the live display option over here so you can enable the bright outdoor sunlight mode if you want to enable the like full brightness of the screen and also we have the power menu option over here so if you tap on it you get this kind of power menu we of course have the google smart home controls and yes they are working fine also if you tap on advanced you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here now let me jump into the settings and this is how the settings panel looks like still and it still looks similar to the earlier evolution x roms in the network settings we still have the wi-fi calling you can enable it of course if you want to and this is how the stock dialer looks like there is no recording option at least as of right now and we have the bluetooth device connected that's why it's showing like this but of course you can change it if you want to and the volley calling over here works fine but there is no call recording option over here in the battery settings this is how it looks like and if you tap here you will see this is how the battery full usage looks like let me go back and here we also get the thermal profiles too so you can set per app to default benchmark browser camera dialer gaming streaming etc let me go back we have the battery saver and the adaptive battery also we have the adaptive charging or the adaptive temperature based charging over here and the screen on time is also there and you can see i have got about two hours of screen on time and i have 69 percent juice left so pretty much the battery life won't be too much great but yes you can get about five to six hours of screen on time over here but do not expect too great of a battery life from this ROM as of right now maybe it needs some more optimization but as of right now it gets you decent battery life I would say it can definitely give you five plus hours of screen on time pretty much and here we have the battery health kind of things it shows everything from the design battery capacity to current battery capacity and the charging cycles also it shows up the battery temperature right here so it has everything of those battery information that you will want talking about the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level the adaptive brightness and stuff 
and in the lock screen we have these privacy kind of things and battery level on bottom is there if you want to enable that for the lock screen and we have the always on display and the wake screen for notification and the ambient wake gesture and stuff and the always on display is important here because as you can see let me show you the always on display so this is how the always on display looks like and yes i have been using it with the big android 12 clock you can also use it with some other clocks too if you want to but yes this android 12 kind of clock looks very cool and this is how the fingerprint scanner works as you can see and the fingerprint scanner speed in my opinion is decent and it also has that animation on the fingerprint scanner as you can see so yeah the fingerprint scanner speed again is decent from the always on display it's not bad at all it's faster than it was previously pretty much so yeah no issues that i have with the fingerprint scanner and the most amazing thing again is the always on display and that is actually working because on the arrow is based on android 11 firmware that does not have the always on display at all but here you are at least getting this good looking always on display with even the android 12 clock so that is great also we have the android 12 search bar i'm not really sure what that does and the dark theme we have and you can also choose the color bucket when you enable the dark theme so that's great let me go back we have the font size the display size dpi changing option also we have the night light so you can enable that from here and in the live display you can change it to automatic off or outdoor again from the toggle that option is there anti flicker mode is also there this is the dc dimming pretty much and the reading mode you can also enable if you want to turn the whole display like grayscale and we have the color calibration rgb of the screen you can control also we have the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen let me go back we have the rotation settings and the double tap to wake the pocket detection and the enable blurs option is there and wake up on plug you can disable that too yes double tap to wake as you saw is working super fine here in the sound and vibration this is how it looks like we have the media call ring etc volume controls and we have the link ring and notification volume and stuff show volume panel on the left side is there then we have the volume steps and the vibration and haptic feedbacks are there you have the in called haptics and we have the touch vibration then you can also adjust the intensity of the ringtone vibration your notification vibration also the haptic feedback vibration you can actually customize these so that is great also the ringtone vibration pattern you can change let me go back we have the adaptive sound and stuff then we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound screenshot sound etc disabling option in the mi audio enhancer we have the with the youth edition the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is amazing also there is this bass booster preset with that the sound quality is great too but i have been using it with the youth edition also with bluetooth the sound quality is great there is this hi-fi audio option as well and we have the choose presets option so yeah, the sound quality is great. No issues that I have had with the sound quality of this ROM via Bluetooth, via speaker, and also via the headphone jack is great. And we have the clear speaker option. If you want to clear your loudspeakers, you can definitely do that with that option. In the security, this is how it looks like. If you go into the settings, we have the quick unlock, then the screen of fingerprint, scramble pin layout is there. But let me tell you, there is no forced fingerprint option. So after a reboot, you have to enter your pin. It doesn't directly unlock with the fingerprint scanner after a reboot. So that simply is missing, which is present in the arrow OS. So yeah, that particular forced fingerprint option is missing, but that's just fine. I did show you the fingerprint scanner speed earlier. So right now, let me just show you the face unlock. So setting up of the face unlock is done. Right now, let's just double tap on the status bar to lock the device and double tap to wake. And if I swipe up, as you can see, uh, it unlocks and let me try one more time. So it definitely takes some time because of the motorized front camera. But yes, it does unlock with the face unlock option. Talking about the app lock, this is how it looks like. Of course, pretty similar. We still have the app locker instantly, 15 seconds or screen off option. Then you can lock any particular app from here. Also, their hide notification options are there. And yes, they are working fine and the app lock is working perfectly fine. You can lock any particular app even by searching from here. So this is great that the app lock is working perfectly fine. And we also have this kind of app locking window. It shows you if you want to unlock with the fingerprint scanner or use the pin or use your face data. And of course, if I tap my finger over here, as you can see, it unlocks. So no issues whatsoever with the app lock or app unlocking thing. Now here I have enabled the FPS info and I also have opened a couple of apps as you can see. So let me open them one by one. Let me show you the app opening up speed with the RAM management of this ROM. So first let's open Chrome and as you can see it is still in memory. Let's go home. Let's open Facebook. Yes, still it is in memory. Twitter. Twitter is kind of reloading I guess. Let me go home and open Play Store. Yes, Play Store still in memory. YouTube app is still in memory but it is a little bit choppy. And in the Instagram, yes, Instagram still seems to be in memory. And this Mi Home app still in memory and the Google Home as well is in memory. So 
pretty much no issues with the memory management but sometimes with youtube app there is a slight delay but without any issues it is working perfectly fine and switching between apps is working perfectly fine as you can see so no issues whatsoever with the memory management of this particular rom and here are the android and geekbench score of this particular rom with a cpu stress test now let's try to see if the google assistant is working fine hey google as you can see it is working fine let me try one more time okay google as you can see again google assistant is not a problem on this particular rom also we get the google pixel unlimited backup with google photos on this rom so that is great and when you are connected to a bluetooth device as you can see it shows up on the top over here also in the bluetooth settings it shows the percentage of the bluetooth device and in terms of the recent panel this is how it looks like we have the screenshot right here then you can select a particular text from here if you go all the way to the left you can clear all the apps from right here or you can go to the split screen and stuff from right here and you can pin a particular app too and do wait for the next video where i'll show you the customizations of this rom if you're interested so what are my conclusions about the latest evolution x rom if you ask me personally the latest build of this 5.9.1 infinity official build of evolution x for redmi k20 pro is amazing because it has so much difference from other roms because in the arrow is you don't get the always on display anymore then there is a lot of problems with the anx camera and stuff yes you do get the l1 certification of drm info in those roms but you have a lot of problems in those roms which in the evolution x rom is simply not there and that makes the evolution x rom much much better than those roms because here the ANX camera is working perfectly fine. You get the always on display working perfectly fine. You also get the DRM info as L1 still here. And over here you have the banking apps working totally fine. And it has so much customizations. And this ROM feels perfectly stable for this particular device as of right now. With latest security patch and all the things are working totally fine. Including Google Assistant and stuff. Everything over here is working fine. And also the camera experience here after you install ANX camera or any Gcam is amazing on this evolution x rom so that's what i think yes evolution x is once again my favorite rom for the redmi k20 pro in mid august 2021 let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet please share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest state of the evolution x rom on the redmi k20 pro this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now